Did kick ass too, kick ass? All right, so this is my review for kick ass to I think it was a highly anticipated sequel to kick ass as kick ass was a really great superhero film even though they weren't superheroes they're just ordinary people fighting crime and it was really good so kick ass 2 is released now and it's directed by jeff wadlow you know changing directors this time around but you still get aaron taylor as kick ass chloe grace mortez as hit girl and uh, McLovin as Red Mist, who is now known as the Motherfucker. And, you know, you're kind of missing uh, Nicolas Cage in here. I, I must admit, I do miss Nicolas Cage in this movie. You get uh, Morris Chestnut now playing Marcus. You get new people. Uh, you get new, new superheroes. You get Jim Carrey playing um, Colonel St Stars and Stripes. And then you get Night Bitch and Clark Duke's still in there. So... How is Kick-Ass 2? The story is that Hit Girl is now living with Marcus and she has to attend school and she, you know they're dealing with, she's growing up, she's becoming a teenager, the typical teenager thing is dealing with friends in high schools, cliques and all that kind of things. Meanwhile, she doesn't want to break her father's promises of having Marcus look after her so Marcus tells her, you know, you can't be Hit Girl anymore. and uh, Kick-Ass wants to be Kick-Ass again after he's done a while, so he now joins a team, um, Justice Forever, with uh, Colonel Stars and Stripes, uh, played by Jim Carrey, and a lot of other play other people that just were inspired by Kick-Ass to become superheroes. And that's pretty much the plot of the movie, and they mix so many things into this movie, and I must say, it is not as good as Kick-Ass, I didn't expect it to be, but there, I did have some issues with it. I'm gonna say it was a fun viewing. I must say that I did have fun with some parts in it and did have its moments. But let's talk about the things that kind of bugged me a little bit. One is that there was not a lot of those moments that were in Kick-Ass. You know, Kick-Ass, there's a lot of those moments where you go, holy fuck, that just happened. A lot of the moments that you're just, you're left speechless. And I think a lot of those moments in kick -Ass, now in Kick-Ass 2 were not there. They were, they kind of played safe with a lot of the moments. They, the, the, the scenes weren't, they were violent, but I felt like they weren't as violent as the ones that they were in Kick-Ass. Uh, they focused a lot on Mindy, just Mindy, not a lot of Hit Girl in this. Less Hit Girl than there was in Kick-Ass 1. But so Mindy now, she's in high school, she wants to figure out who she is. She knows she's Hit Girl, but she just thinks now Hit Girl's over, so now she has these popular friends, and they try to get her on the dance team, and they go to they go to a party, and they dress her up. So it's she's experiencing new things, and I they're trying to incorporate. You know, she's a teenager now; she's like 15, and she's experiencing these things that a normal teenager should. But you know, deep down, she still wants to be Hit Girl. I don't like that they. Ex showed a little, they showed a little too much of it, and you know, the movie is Kick-Ass, not Hit Girl. With Kick-Ass, Kick-Ass was fine. Uh, I felt like for Jim Carrey, they, you know, Jim Carrey was in this, and they really hyped up Jim Carrey, a really cool, badass, Colonel Stars and Stripes character. With Jim Carrey, I really felt like it was just wasted talent. Again, there's a lot of movies this month, this year, that they hype up this actor and then they just waste it. You know, he had his cool moments, but overall I think it was just wasted talent. They had some pretty cool new superheroes. Night Bitch, she was pretty hot. Um, now Red Mist is now the motherfucker and he wants to create a plan to kill Kick-Ass for what he did to his father. And he uh, recruits all these bad people, Mother Russia and bunch of other people and they just terrorize the town and want to send out a message and I like that but a lot of what McLovin did in this movie was he used too many jokes and the jokes felt forced a lot of the there was a lot of jokes in this movie from Clark Duke from Colonel Stars and Stripes from a lot of other player people hit girl now a little bit too um, everybody in the high school the high school kids 
um, the teenagers, they were using too many jokes like dick jokes and sex jokes and it just really felt forced and it wasn't necessary. Though there are a lot of ne unnecessary moments in this movie, um, some shit scenes, I must say shit scenes in this movie that I really felt were unnecessary. The action is cool in the movie, you know, the last part of the movie is what sold the movie. You know, if it wasn't for the last part of the movie, I would have felt a little bit different about the movie. But the ending is really fun and it makes you go, yes, this is what I'm looking for. A lot of action, violence, fast movement, and I'm glad to say that the music from the first one, the score at the end and throughout the movie is still there and I really did like that. Though. You know, Kick-Ass 2, I think, falls into the sequel um, parts, you know, the sequel category where, you know, it's a really good movie, then you got the okay sequel over here, and that's what Kick-Ass 2, it's an okay movie, decent, fun viewing, but deep down it wasn't that sequel that we were looking for, a lot of unnecessary moments, a lot of, too much of, of Mindy, not enough of Hit Girl, I know that they were talking about you know, her being a teenager and everything, dealing with teenager things, but it would have been nice to see more of Hit Girl. Her costume did look a little weird, though, now that she's a little older. So, Kick-Ass 2, what did you think? Were you excited to see it? Comment down below. Tell me what you thought about Kick-Ass. Did you guys enjoy it? Looking forward to seeing it. What do you think about Kick-Ass 1? I just watched it the other day, and it was, you know, a lot of the moments in the movie of Kick-Ass, you know, it's just so fresh, so original so awesome and you're you know it's a fresh new superhero film and you hope that Kick-Ass 2 is that and it's not they just I felt like really they just played it too safe and you know Kick-Ass 1 there's like boundaries there was none they did whatever they wanted and violence with Big Daddy and Hit Girl and Red Mist and it was just so fun and this they I felt like they played it a little safe um, I just wish it maybe a little more violent I like violence no Jim Carrey does it now. So if this doesn't watch the movies, please remember to subscribe, comment, and I'm off to go see Jobs. Hopefully I'm going to see Paranoia this weekend and Lee Daniels the Butler. So if this doesn't watch the movies, please remember to subscribe, comment, and I'll see you all later. Bye.